Today we have a deck profile for you guys today, and it is going to be on the pearly deck that I've been taking to locals recently, and I've been doing quite well with it. I've gotten tied for first place, 4-0, and then I went 3-2 and still ended up in sixth. So I want to take a look at this. Total, I've gone a 7-2 a and two record with the deck just with this build alone so let's take a look at it and let's get right into it so i'm using a different angle camera instead of the one that i had last time for what deck profile i had and i think this one is going to be a little better because it's more at an angled and we can see the cards a little bit better first off we have triple of your main starter card being triple pearly this card is one of your main cards of your deck that you have to run mandatory three of because of just what it does when it's normal to a special summoned you can excavate the top three cards of your deck add one pearly spell or trap card from those excavated three to your hand and place the rest on the bottom and then you can reveal a pearly memory from your hand special summon one pearly exceed monster with the same or the listed material as it to it so you can rank up into something like you can go into with from pretty memory all the way up to your pearly beauty so after that we have three of the other monster being triple per lily or pearl pearly lily as ocg calls it this is the one that searches out your nine quick play spell cards and your traps when it's normal or special summoned and this one also and target a pearly quick play spell in your graveyard and you special summon an exceed with the respectable one that you targeted so if you target happy memory you can summon the exceed and attach the target to it as material and it's treated as an exceed summon but the difference between pearly and pearl lily is that pearly is a a non-hard once per turn it's a soft once per turn and Lily is a hard ones per turn, so there's differences between the two. Next up, let's get to the spell cards for Pearly. We have Triple Pearly, Pearly Pretty Memory. This is one of the memories that you want to see starting off because you can activate it whenever. And it gains both players a thousand life points. Then you can apply the following effect. They all share that effect of discard one card. And if you do special summon one pearly monster from your deck, and then a pearly exceed monster that has this attached as material gains the following effect. They all have that same line, but different effects. Pretty memory is once per turn, you can send one other card you control to the graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls. That's all the cost. Then you attach it to this card as material. Next up, we have our Pearly Sleepy Memory. The same, same discard effect, but when you activate it, the next damage you take from battle or card is become zero. This does not include things from the payment costs of my friend or any type of payment cost that there is because it has to be by a card effect or by battle. And this one, when it's attached to a Pearly Exceed, it gains the following effect of during your opponent's standby phase, you could draw one card multiple times. I do end on a three material Pearly Exceed, so I get three draws and then use you to go into Noir to get another three draws. So you're realistically getting a plus six just off of three materials alone. After that, we have the ones that you have to choose a card on the field, being triple Pearly Happy Memory. You choose one card on the field, and the next time it is destroyed, it is not destroyed. It still has the same discard one card effect to special out a level one pearly monster from your deck. But when this card is attached to a exceed pearly monster, it gets one additional attack on monsters per battle phase. So this card goes hand in hand with the other memory that Konami Limited being pearly delicious memory. This card is choose one monster on the field until the end of this turn that monster cannot be destroyed by battle and after that you get to discard one to special out a pearly you get to apply that effect 
And a pearly monster that has this card as a material gains the following effect. It gains 300 attack and defense for each material on it. If you have 10 materials, that's 3,000 attack and defense extra to your monster. Now, I want to put this one here for a symmetry reason. We have two pearly yeep. This is your rank up trap card or the rank down trap card because you can target a pearly exceed monster you control. Special summon from your extra deck one pearly exceed monster with a different rank by using that targeted monster as a material. Or return it to the extra deck during the end phase of the next turn. This is treated as an exceed summon. And you also have a secondary effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target up to three pearly monsters from your graveyard, and you can shuffle them into the deck. You can only activate one pearly heap per turn, so you can use one or the other effect per turn. One of the things I like doing, if I have already a five mat material, five mat pearly monster because of plump, I would go up into a noir, use this to rank down into something like a beauty, and use the attached effect of Pretty Memory, if I do have it. And then I get to rank up into a X Happiness. Or, because you can, you can go up into a second Noir if needed. Which I really do like. Next, for the field spell, we have Triple Stray Pearly Streets. This card is very useful because your opponent cannot target pearly monsters you control with card effects. The turn that they are special summoned after you activate this card, so if you already summon one during the draw phase or standby phase, it is not applied to the one that was, to that one, only the ones that were summoned after. Then, once per turn, if a face-up pearly exceed monster leaves the field because your opponent's card, either battle or card effect, or if it's by like a kaiju, you can special summon one pearly monster from your deck or graveyard, and once per turn during the end phase, you can target one ex pearly exceed monster on the field. You can attach one pearly quick play spell from your deck or graveyard to that monster. So that effect is really, really useful if you need to not use names from the deck and just attach from the graveyard. And then after that, we have triple my friend pearly. This is one of the best cards in the deck because... You can pay 500 life points, reveal three pearly cards from your deck, except my friend pearly, and if and your opponent randomly picks one for you and add it to your hand. Also shuffle the rest into the deck. If a face up pearly exceed monster leaves a field because of your opponent's card, even during the damage step, you can add up to three pearly quick play spell cards with different names from your graveyard to your hand, and you can only use each effect of my friend pearly once per turn. So this recovers a lot of your losses if you lose something by battle, by a card effect, or even by a kaiju, so that's relatively very good. Next up, we have triple Droll and Lockbird for our hand traps, and triple Ash Blossom Joy Springs. Now, the hand traps do depend on what your local metal looks like, or what you're going to be going into for a YCS. And I've been testing this because uh, my locals, we have a lot of high level players and they do show up once in a while, maybe for a case tourney or they need practice for a YCS before, a week before or days before. So there's that. And honestly, I really like Ash Blossom, Joy Spring and Droll Lockbird being two of the best hand traps right now. And honestly, Droll has saved me quite a bit. I do set it out here and there for other cards if I need it. But overall, these two really are really good. One of the best cards in the format right now happens to be an old card back from way back in the day, being Book of Moon. This card alone helps so much against having to OTK people, and honestly, OTKing people is a lot of fun. And with that, it's definitely one of the things you really kind of need. And it's also good baiting out a negate or disruption if able after that we have the other staples being double pot of prosperity a very wonderful card because it allows you to dig up to six cards and sometimes you only need three which i really do choose here and there we have the one harpy feather duster because feather duster is really great you can grab it off of many things like prosperity triple checked thrust or even drawing it off of triple tech talent uh you also do have the two triple tech talent or thrust because you can get 
per yeep on the board. You can even get to Feather Duster, D Barrier, any of the cards that you really need to set, which I really do like. We also do have two Triple Tactics Talent because hand ripping stuff is very, very good. But also drawing two, it's just a Pot of Greed. And I think this card is way more broken than Pot of Greed right now, <laughs> even though Pot of Greed is banned. After that, we have a one terraforming because it's another copy of your Stray's Pearly Streets. And it can come in handy if you need to discard fodder if you already have streets in hand. And finally, main decking the one dimensional barrier. This card has saved my life many, many times, and it's going to keep saving my life for times to come. Now let's get into the extra deck because this is where a lot of the options really slim down to. And a lot of the options we have... There's not really many wiggle room pieces that you can really use. First off, we have double E or X Pearly Noir. This is one of your big gun cards that you really want to keep in your extra deck as much as you can. If your opponent rips it out, you have to try and get it back in there if you can as well. After that, we also are running the one X Pearly Happiness. This has actually saved me quite a few times. Being able to have a big OTK enable if it has like 10 materials, which it can, going up to 5,500 with a burn of 1,500, and maybe multiple attacks on monsters, so this card can end the game very, very quick. Now, one of the ironic things about this deck is that with the large ones, there's not many of them to say, because these are the only large ones. For the little ones, on the other hand, we have two E Pearly Happiness to go along with the one Happiness and the one E Pearly Noir. Now, Happiness is after the damage that this card battled, you can add one Pearly card from your deck to your hand. Also, if this card has Happy Memory as a material, you can have the attack of one face up monster your opponent controls. And once up to thrice per turn, when you activate a Pearly Quick Face spell, you can attach that card to it. Attach that card on the field to this card as material, then return one spell trap card your opponent controls. Now, each of the pearly monsters have that same up to thrice per turn attach effect, but they all do something different. Like Noir, here, you quick effect attach, and you can set a pearly trap card from your deck. Then, after that, uh, on your turn, you can once per turn target one card your opponent controls, or two, if, your if you have sleepy memory attached to it, and discard a card, then you can return those cards to the hand. Very good to get rid of some floodgates if you need to, or get rid of some problematic monsters. After that, we have two of the Uperly Beauty. She is a quick effect target, if she has a pretty memory, quick effect target monster on the field to negate that effect of that, or negate the effects of the monster for the rest of the turn. And she has the up to thrice per turn. If you attach a material, you can target, um, you can change the battle position of one monster your opponent controls. So this card can really help some towers, in my opinion. And with that, uh, this card is very, very good at being a two of. And honestly, this is one of the better cards overall in the extra deck. Happiness is there for the OTKs. X Happiness is also there for the OTKs Noir and X Noir are there for the control aspect of the deck because they get to your control pieces. Noir can get to keep to rank up, which is very, very useful. And finally, for the Pearly X Seeds, we have one X Pearly Plump. This card, if it has delicious memory, it's a quick effect, but you can target two Speller Trap cards in either player's graveyard, attach them to it as a material. And then the quick effect attach effect is. You can banish one monster on the field until the end phase. Now, I do recommend with this card um, not to use it that much against things that really can hurt you. And I would rather just go, oh, I'm just going to attach. I'm not going to bounce back. And then if it's already ba after battle phase and you battled, just go into summon into a Zeus and wipe the board is one of the easiest things you can do because it's very devastating since I do side deck things like Dark Ruler No More. Now for the extra deck, for the rest of the extra deck, tights, the space is really tight with double Divine Arsenal 
Sky Thunder. I think Zeus should go down to one still. It's a very powerful card at the end of the day. And being also able to use Downer Magician to get an extra material for that Zeus is very, very powerful. And then for the rank ones I'm using, I'm using one Slacker Magician for target prevention. And a Princess Sprite. If you don't know what these cards do, Princess Sprite, you detach a material from this card, excavate the top card. If it's a spell or trap, you add it to your hand. If it's not, it goes to the graveyard. And Slacker Magician is... This card cannot be destroyed by battle. During either player's turn, when a card effect is activated that targets this face-up card, you can detach one material, negate that effect, and if you do destroy it, so it can get around things like Arise Art, or even get around other cards like Fenrir. So it can come in handy quite a bit. And for the final card, we have one Sky Striker Ace Azalea because we're running all lights and darks in the main deck for Pearly Wise, and it comes in handy, it comes up here and there, which I tend to use sometimes. And now for the side deck that I've been running as... It's been very, very useful with how much I can swap in and out for a lot of these. First off, we have Triple Nibiru, the Primal Being. This is one hand drop that I should be maining, but I'm doing a going first build, so it's in the side deck. And it's really self-explanatory it being in here because... It's one of the more powerful hand traps that I would rather side. Now, I do have some board breakers in here, being two Dark Ruler no more, and as being a blanket, just a blanket negate is very, very good, and honestly, this card could get hit in the future, but I don't think it will, because it falls in and out of the meta, it swaps with Forbidden Droplet, depending on what is meta. After that, we have the One Herald of the Abyss, as well as it does out things like Pearly, it does out Tower-like cards, so it can come in handy, and I've used it here and there against certain decks, so it definitely does come up. Uh, we have the three Cosmic Cyclone to deal with Floodgates and back row of certain decks here and there, which I really do enjoy. After that, we have two XE Dynfor. This card's really useful because if you bait out your opponent's activation of a Rise Heart, you can go... Oh, I'm going to chain Encore and put your Rise Heart back to the extra deck, so it lost all of its materials already, so you don't get anything back, which is very, very good. Uh, we're also citing the second Dimensional Barrier because we kind of have to with Thrust being in, in the deck. And a card that I'm thinking of dropping is uh, Triple Summon Limit. Now, Summon Limit has come in handy. It is a very good card, and overall... I really do enjoy having this card in the deck because it slows a lot of combo players down. Especially a lot of your Dragon Link players, uh, branded players, and even Rika Sun of Avalon players. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this deck profile of my pearly deck that I've been taking to locals. And I probably might bring it to YCS Indianapolis if the ban list is very justifiable enough whenever we do get that. But anyways, I have been Bolt Spider, and I hope you guys did enjoy, and see you guys in the next video.